Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I, I'm really excited to film this video today. It's um, one of those ones where we are going to be getting organised. Um, the kitchen is an absolute mess at the moment but one thing that I'm trying to introduce more into my um, content that I'm making over on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, head over there now and go and follow me. But um, yeah, I'm trying to share more of the real life because I just think people need it and um, yeah, I definitely don't live in a perfect world. So I'm excited to kind of show you all this, show you the mess in the kitchen and give it a good sort out. So if you are new here, my name is Jess and I am a mum of two. I have Freya who's currently asleep. She is um, nine months old. And then I also have Olivia who is six and she's at school today. So that's given me a little bit of time this morning to um, come on here talk to you guys and make this video so let me spin you around and i will kind of show you where we're at and then so we'll this is the kind of usual state of my house when i get home from the school run um but today we have actually just been at food shopping and we've got our whole load of weekly food. I generally tend to do a food shop that lasts us from Monday to Friday and then I'll go and grab some bits on Friday for the weekend. So I'll unpack all of that and share that with you. I've got some washing to put away, I've got some bits to fill up into the dishwasher and then I also really need to have a good kind of clear out of the fridge and a bit of a clean. So maybe it's best to just get on but I think the first thing I'm going to do is um, empty out the fridge. What's your story? So that is the fridge completely empty. Um, I've got so much stuff in there it's terrible. Loads of like old jars from Christmas and things. So it's good to have a good clear out. Um, as you can see, the bottom down there is pretty horrendous. Um, and all the shelves just need a good um, wipe down. So I'm gonna use my favorite flash spray wipe done. And I'm going to give it a once over and a good wipe and then get it all restocked. What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connect. Here is our shopping for the week. This was quite a big food shop actually. I think I spent about 160 pounds, which is quite a lot, but I had to get the girls um, some new bits. So I'll just go through with you quickly what we've got. So these are kind of like my non-essentials. It's a big day this month, Valentine's. So I got Olivia some little hearts and a card and then a card for Matt. Um, Olivia also needed some new school tights and Freya needed some socks and some vests so I got all those. Um, Olivia also needed some new toothpaste and we needed some um, bath wash for um, Freya. And then I got Freya all of her like snacks and things like that so she does generally tend to eat a um, she's finger she does finger food baby led weaning that's the one I'm looking for and um, but then now and again, we'll do these throughout the week, kind of maybe at lunchtime or one in the evening. It's very dependent. She doesn't have baby led weaning for both meals. Um, and she just really loves this flavor. So this is perfect. Like when we're out and about on the go for a quick lunch, she has one of those um, and some snacks. And then they had all these different snacks as well. We actually opened this one as we were walking around and she loved those. They were perfect and they're really small. So perfect for that pincer grip. So we got those, um, and then I needed some of these sorts of essentials, so some dishwasher tablets, some more fabric softener. I always go for fairy, always. Um, and then I'm now trying to get Freya to take a bottle in the evening. Um, so I got her some Aptamil. She's currently still breastfed and very reliant upon me, so um, we're gonna try some of this formula, see if that helps at all. Um, Olivia, some smoothies, some more milk, orange juice, chips, and then kind of some snacks. For Olivia and like family biscuits, we love a biscuit in this house. Um, some cereal, cat food, bread, crustless, because I am that mum who buys that bread because I can't be bothered to cut the crusts off. Um, 
Then this week for meals, we're having katsu one night and Olivia loves chicken katsu and this is the closest one I can find that is similar flavor to the one at Wagamama's and that's her favorite. So um, we get this and then we're gonna have sort of like a fajita kind of enchilada, not enchilada, burrito one night. So these are perfect for those. Um, some crisps, um, tomatoes, we are coming to the veg, it's all over there. Um, falafels and hummus, I love falafels, Freya loves hummus. We've got some chicken bread breast slices, some easy quick meals, because Matt's really busy at work, so I don't tend to faff around too much when I've got both the girls on my own. Um, Matt and I will have steak on Friday, and jelly is, for me, it's a snack that I like to have in the evening to stop me kind of like craving sweets and stuff as I'm on a bit of a health kick at the moment. And I find that really helps with some grapes or um, some watermelon or something like that. Obviously some nappies, a jar of sauce, because again, I don't have time to be making things and Olivia just will always eat this bolognese. But if I make my own, she's got no interest. So we just go quick and easy in this house. We're gonna have sausages and mash one night. Um, avocados and carrots. These are Olivia's favorites. Some broccoli. Oh, I just I never think it's too early to go for the mini eggs. I love them. Um, these are for Olivia. She just has one of these now and again as a treat after dinner with fruit and stuff. But yeah, this she'll be happy with that. She loves mini eggs. Coffee some cheeses and stuff. We're trying to incorporate some more calcium into Olivia's diet as she doesn't tend to really um, eat a lot of milk product. She is a very, very picky eater, so I have to think carefully when I'm making her stuff. She literally just likes what she likes. Um, I don't know if anyone else has a picky six-year-old but and has any ideas for meals, but yeah, she's really difficult. So I try and get her a variety and she does tend to eat them, but this pretty much the same every week. So that's what she has. Those ones are for Freya. Then some watermelon for me, some apples, blueberries, raspberries, grapes, strawberries, bananas, and some oranges. Because I love fruit, Matt loves fruit. We all love fruit in this house. So yeah, that is what I picked up at Sainsbury's this week. Like I said, a big shop for us, but mainly just because we got all of these extras over here and like dishwasher tablets are so expensive but they are the best ones I have found. So, I now just need to get this all loaded up in the fridge. As you saw, I had a good, um, the fridge was nice and clean and I've just restocked it with um, things that have not gone out of date or kind of went old or anything like that. Um, and there's a lot of space. So let's get the food shop in here, the stuff that needs to go in there and then the rest of it can all go in the cupboards. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers So that's the fridge loaded up. Does anyone else find that you can spend so much money at the supermarket, but once you start putting it in the fridge, <laughs> there never really seems to be that much. But yeah, anyway, that's all in there. I've kind of done it, so I forgot we also got some Diet Coke as well. So I've done those up there. Then we've got like a dairy shelf. We've got some fruit and some like condiments and stuff. And then the meats mainly at the bottom with the pizza squished underneath. And then all the vegetables in there. Um, I've still got kind of the snacks and things to all put away and the girls bits and bobs and that big pile of washing sitting on top of my coffee machine. But yeah, we're getting there. We come alive in the night time something about how we dance In the moonlight that look in your eyes It tells me that you want me So this is the cupboard where we usually store all of the girls' um, snacks and plates and stuff. It's a bit of a mess. So um, I'm gonna give it a bit of a quick tidy out and um, just organize everything as well. The plates and things like that look <laughs> terrible. So yeah, I'll do that now. So 
this is how the children's snack cupboard is looking now. I think it looks so much better. And um, I've put all of Olivia's things in that basket, all of Freya's in that basket, and then all the plates and cups at the bottom along with lunch boxes and things like that. So that's one cupboard done. This kind of ended up being a bit of like a, um, <laughs> sort of like a all cupboard organization thing slash fridge clean but um it's worked well i've also had a quick tidy up of um the worktops and you would have seen i put the coffee pods away in their little jars over here um i love these jars these are sophie conran jars i picked them up from tk maxx and i just think they're beautiful so we keep all our coffee pods in there and then um tea bags and sugar in there um, and then they're just my vitamins that I'm taking at the moment. The fruit bowl's nice and full and I've just got a little bit of washing up to put away. But yeah, it looks, um, it's looking tidier and obviously all the food is safely tucked away in the cupboards and the fridge is very, very organized. I doubt it will stay that organized for long. Um, but yeah, there we have it. So let me spin you around. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of rather random video, I think. Um, I'm not really sure where I was going with it, but it's just really nice to be back here on YouTube sharing content with you all again and having the camera in my hand. And it just, I find it inspiring. It just makes me want to do more. So I appreciate all of your support and um, your messages that you send me and things like that, both on here, the comments on here and um, over on Instagram. I'm really grateful for those. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, just pop a little thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll hopefully see you again very, very soon.